This whole thing is a disgrace. There's been tremendous corruption, and we're seeking it. It's called drain the swamp. There's been corruption on the other side. There's been corruption like you've never seen. But there was a lot of corruption having to do with the 2016 election against us. And we want to get to the bottom of it, and it's very important that we do. Thank you very much. Notice last season on Saturday Night Live, there were appearances from one Robert Mueller, but actually played by Robert De Niro. Now Mueller seems to be history, but De Niro has a lot to say about the real life President Trump. Hot off the heels of their last failed attempt to beat Trump without an election, far-left provocateur Brian Stelter and washed-up Hollywood NPC Robert De Niro both got together to discuss their latest impeachment con job. De Niro is a hate-filled has-been that has spent a lifetime pretending to be other people for money. In fact, other than playing Robert Mueller in the last failed attempt to remove Trump from office, Robert De Niro, I think, is most known for dropping F-bombs. What kind of deep insights is Oompa Loompa Stelter looking to get from this guy? I remember the Tonys when he got up there and cursed. Lots of you. Okay, well, you know, this is cable, Sorry. so it's not an FCC violation. Sorry. Bitch, are you for real? Just how desperate are they to sell this latest impeachment scam? They can't be too sure of themselves if they're bringing on C-list actors to shock and amaze everybody with the F word. I love how he apologizes to the producer, the cameraman, or whatever, as if they didn't know that that's what he was going to do. That's why they brought him on. Everyone on the left now apparently thinks that cursing bolsters their lack of coherent arguments against Trump. The Ukraine scandal is already falling apart, with the transcript available showing no threats to withhold aid and no quid pro quos. Then we get this revelation that the intelligence community had actually revised the whistleblower standards to include secondhand information. Why did they do that? Lastly, the Constitution also apparently gives the president a lot of leeway when it comes to diplomacy, and I think we'd all be pretty naive to think that past presidents haven't taken advantage of that. No, oh, it's not illegal. What crime was violated? Can you name one? I'm not naming them. I'm saying others have suggested. Nobody's naming them. But well, I, no, it's no, not instead about we me. Have Hold on, Ed. Ed. It's not about me. It's not illegal. The president didn't do anything illegal. You know how I know? Because Nancy Pelosi's been on every TV show and she can't cite one section of the United States Code where it's illegal. We already know that Joe Biden and Barack Obama did that very thing when they threatened to withhold $1 billion in aid from Ukraine unless they fired that prosecutor. But, okay, De Niro, you've made your point. I mean, clearly there's no retort to your devastating thesis. But before I crawl back into the shadows, I'd love to hear your professional medical opinion of Donald Trump. This guy has done everything possible, much worse than I ever thought, ever. What is at the heart of that? What is the primary critique or complaint or objection? I, I I don't know. I think part of I think he's crazy in a way. Part of him is just just crazy. Where are we? This is a crazy world. What is going on? This mm. guy is crazy. We've got to get him out. That's it. You think he's crazy. Given that he's so out of his mind and the world is just so impacted by his craziness, I'm sure you have some examples of all this unbridled insanity. Don't worry. You, you convinced me earlier with the F word, so just let me have it. When you say crazy, do you mean in a medical sense? Because that gets well, criticized pretty quickly. Possibly medically, too. When I saw him out uh, in front of the helicopter waiting to go somewhere and talking endlessly and sweating and sweating and not... <laughs> That's your argument. That one time you saw Donald Trump talking a lot and sweating. I'm sure that we can just bring up the National Health Institute website and find a whole section about talking a lot and sweating. I have to tell you, I am appalled that CNN would bring this hack on national airwaves to call the President of the United States crazy. Especially based on the brilliant theory that talking a lot and sweating is a sure sign of craziness. In other words, this is bottom shelf CNN garbage being spewed to airports around the country. If this is all they got, then we're probably looking at another repeat of every other stunt these hacks have used to try and undo a democratic election. 
it's all they've got since the economy is doing so good. The border is more secure by the day. And he even passed prison reform, something that no other past president has been able to do, including Obama. Unemployment is down to record levels. NATO is paying more of their fair share. And he actually replaced NAFTA with a better deal. He's working on a lot that could really benefit this country if he were being supported instead of undermined. If you watch this channel, then you're not at all surprised that the media is still pushing to get Trump out of office so they don't have to face him in the election. They won't quit and neither will I. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, and hit that subscribe button. I also want you guys to head on over to my new website, dronetechpolitics.com, which should be going live any day now. On there, you're going to find a forum, news, and commentary by an extremely talented group of writers. Thanks for watching and keep coming back.